It is the 13th of February 2020. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Marithina Siji. Here we look at stories making news across the country. Now, Major General Benon Biraro, a former presidential candidate and retired army officer, checked into Kampala Hospital Nakasura on Thursday last week, feeling unwell. A week of treatment did not improve his health, and he breathed his last on Wednesday. Gampala Hospital announced in a statement that Biraro had succumbed to cancer of the colony. Tall and dark skinned with patches of grey, the 62 year old cut his teeth on politics in 2015, just two years after his retirement from the army. His desire to lead the country as president was built around his passion and experience as a farmer, a position that appeared to endear him to the ordinary people. Two years ago, he shared with a bookade TV presenter on the show Omutu Abantu what he saw in Ugandans during his presidential campaigns that motivated his presidential ambitions. Take a listen. Hope, hope Moving on, the national coordinator of the Alliance of National Transformation Party, Major General Mujisha Muntu, and Democratic Party President Nobat Mao have joined other Ugandans to mourn the death of former presidential candidate Major General Benwin Biraro. General Biraro died on Wednesday afternoon at Kampala Hospital after a long battle against cancer. He was the former Bush for fighter and former presidential candidate in the 2016 general election leading the Farmers' Party of Uganda. Major Mujisha Muntu wrote on his Twitter handle, Today our country lost a patriot. General Biraro served his country diligently amidst all the temptations of power. He has passed on by God's grace before bowing to the sense of entitlement that many within our ranks who fought the bush was succumbed to. Muntu, a former Uganda People's Defense Forces commander, who also served as a party president for Forum for Democratic Change. Party said Birado stuck to the idea, the ideas they fought, the ideals they fought for and never bought to what he completely derailed the, the cause of which they made significant sacrifices. Mao, the party president of the Democratic Party, also took to Twitter and said he was saddened to learn of the death of General Biraro. He said, I convey the heartfelt condolences to his family, the APDF, and all citizens of Uganda. I pay tribute to him for being an officer and a gentleman. He will be remembered for his passion and national transformation. Yes, they are watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth, and I said you take a break as we look at what is making news in it to this copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. Yesterday, you're watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. We continue looking at more stories making news across the country. And today, being the 13th of February, or February tomorrow is 14th. As some of you think it is Valentine's Day, which is true, 
we are also saying it is the day when the Harvest Money Expo starts. The Harvest Money Expo will be three days, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It will be at Nambole Stadium, and entrance fee is just 10,000 shillings. Those who want to attend training sessions, it is just 10,000 shillings. And the theme for the Harvest Money Expo is farming as a business. As we get into the second segment of this bulletin, I have to say a number of exhibitors have set up stalls at Mandela National Stadium in Namboli ahead of the Harvest Money Expo that starts tomorrow. And so our partners, which deals with the tractors, took the lead when it started bringing in its merchandise on Monday. By Wednesday, more companies had finished setting up their stalls. Now, these include 30 Plus Organic Limited, Champresa International, SR Afri Chicks and Breeders Limited, Zoe Limited, Africasia Seed Company Limited, Books Distribution Uganda Limited, Uganda Chick Poultry Breeders Limited, Dura Motors Limited, and Coca Cola. Julia Striamujuka, the Fit, the Fit Plus Organic Limited Managing Director said they have decided to bring in their merchandise early so as to serve the showgoers immediately when the expo opens. Now, Fit Plus deals in fertilizers. Be there and we shall also be there to serve you. Away from the Havast Money Expo, where I know I will find you. Let's move on to more stories making news across the country. Uganda risks a high invasion of desert locusts if they are not controlled effectively. The locusts invaded Uganda from Kenya through Amdat district and have advanced to other districts in Karamoja and Testo regions, although the climate may not be favorable for them to stay for long. Dr. John Bahamut an etymologist working with the Ministry of Agriculture attributes, attributes the locusts' invasion to extraordinary rainfall amounts in the region. Now, Dr. Bahana says the locusts could have been controlled from Somalia, but due to the insecurity, they were not controlled and they advanced to Kenya. Take a listen. In fact, the best strategy would have been as soon as we build, built our capacity, we should have requested to join the Kenya and we spray them there. It would have saved us a lot of resources. It would have also meant that we are, you know, suppressing the populations there before they fly out. So, from where you are, uh, discussions going on with the spray? Because two ministers have been there. Yes, that's what they were trying to work out. And? Um, <clears throat> I don't think we will be able to go to Kenya, but the, Ken <clears throat> the Uganda government ministers were investigating possibilities of getting aircraft to come and spray this way because we didn't have an aircraft. He said the only control measure is spraying and it is expensive because hiring a spray aircraft is at 2,000 US dollars an hour. The locusts are also edible, but experts say it is difficult to trap them because they are very active and do not move in the night. Now, the desert locusts last invaded Uganda in early 1940s and 1950s, and the country had been considered pulling out of the Desert Locust Control Organization of East Africa, where its mandatory, where its mandatory is to pay 112 US dollars annually. That's all I had for you today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.uj forward slash video.